Hello and welcome. Let's have a quick overview of ClickSense Geo Analytics in this session. So I'm going to show you how I created this layer. With the base map, I've added several layers such as area and point layer. Essentially, I created a master item with hierarchy. So this group has customer country, city, and product name. And I'm using that hierarchy as a drill down group of layers. So essentially, the area layer has the dimension itself is the geography, which is a drill down group. And the trick here is that in the option, you create a visible drill down level to just show the customer country. Then in the point layer, I'm using the same dimension. But in this case, in the drill down level, I'm showing customer city instead of country. So you can have multiple layers within the base map and you can also add operations but that's more complex where you can bring data into your data model so let's see how this works so if i make selection on country france for instance and select that now that takes me to the next layer which is the point layer where i can see cells by each city and i created this little slope graph in association to show how the cells varied from year over year so you can see the trend along with the current cells now this works fine but what if you want to add a digitized computer added drawing as a base map into your data model many times you need that to show for example a floor plan if you're in manufacturing or human body map if you are in healthcare. For instance, you want to have a body map that's clickable and associated with your data model so that when user makes selections, then the map also reflects values associated with that particular dimension. Well, if you want to learn that, then join us in our webinar on August 17. We'll show you step by step how you can create a clickable human body map. So we hope to see you then. Till then, thank you for watching.